Hi, Room 9 students. I want to show you a tutorial today on how to use Padlet. This is kind of like a classroom online where we can write things to each other and send pictures to each other so that we, even though we're far away, it's another way that we can communicate with the other students in Room 9. So what I would do is what I, I'm going to click, go to the classroom website and click on Remote Learning Lesson Plan. This is where you've been able to download all your daily assignments throughout, uh, throughout this period right now. And what I wanna click on is the blue hyperlink here. And I know that this is a hyperlink because it's in a different color than the rest of the font. And when I click on it, it'll take me to the Padlet page. So here we go. Now, once you go into this page, it's password lock so that it knows only the students in room nine can access this page. So these are for each of you and I'm gonna type in the password here. And if you don't remember it, I purposely didn't say it. It's on the it's on the web on our classroom web page. I'm gonna press submit. And now that I'm in here, you can see uh, the post that I have already placed. And um, these posts will go in order. So whoever posts most re recently, it'll go in the front. So what I'm gonna do is press plus. And once I click on it, it says anonymous because it doesn't know who I, the computer doesn't know who I am. If you would like to create an account, you can click on sign up here. As you can see, I did sign up. And so you can see a picture of myself and my name here. If you don't want to sign up, that is okay. You can write your name here and I would put student Bob. And you're gonna write, you're not gonna just write anything here. What you wanna do is answer the question, which is, first of all, it says challenge of the week. What is something new that you've tried this week? My introduction here was, I miss all of you so much. So maybe you can say, hi class, exclamation mark. And then I wanna jump in and try to answer the question here. What is something new that you've tried this week? I hope I have been, I learned, how to bake chocolate chip cookies with my family. And let's say, um, hi class, I learned how to bake chocolate chip cookies with my family. I just wanna make sure that I'm editing my work. And it's okay because it hasn't quite been, um, it hasn't been posted yet, so you can definitely check for mistakes. I checked mine a lot as well. And then, when, and then what you want to do is you have the option. You can see I sent a photo here. You can click on this um, camera, and it'll access your camera right away if you have a computer screen up here. My camera's right here on the top. But let's say um, you, want, you don't want to take a picture of yourself, and you want to check the internet. You can click on Google and search for a picture. Um, and let's say you already have a picture saved from before, which I did. I've actually, I clicked on this and I look for a picture of a chocolate chip cookie and saved it on my computer. And what I wanna do is download it, so, um, or upload it. I've already downloaded it on my computer, so now I'm gonna upload it onto this page here. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm going to pick on a file because I already saved mine and it's chocolate chip cookies. Just want to make sure to give it some time. Oh, perfect. And this is the picture that I wanted to show. And once I'm done with that, I'm, if you don't like the post, you can delete it. If you like the text that you wrote here and you're happy with the writing, but you don't quite like the picture, you can press X and remove it and try again. Or you can leave it if you're happy with it. I'm happy with it. And then you can exit out here. You can see what the other students have read and be a mindful di digital citizen and you can leave a, a positive comment just like what we do with our writing. So you can say um, like an I like or an I wonder and then an I like, okay? So for example, maybe you can say, I like that you've been trying to garden. And then you can press this. 
And then once that goes through, I can check on my end to see if how, how things are going and then if it's appropriate and I think, okay, this student looks like they did a good job on their writing, I'm gonna approve it here. So it'll look a little different for me. Um, and then same thing with the comments. If you maybe don't like your post, you can change it or delete it, but only your work and only your writing. You can't change anyone else's. For me, I can look at it and see, okay, is this comment courteous? Is it an I like and an I wonder and an I like, and then you can move on, okay? Um, but that's it for today's little tutorial on how to use Padlet. Have a good time, and I can't wait to hear your update soon. Bye-bye.